Hey everyone, welcome back. You ready to dive into something kind of wild? I'm always ready. What do we have this time? Well, I thought we could take a look into Leonardo DiCaprio's 50th birthday party. Oh yeah, I saw some headlines about that. Sounds like it was quite the event. It definitely seems like it. We've got this article here that goes into all the juicy details. It was at a private estate in the Hollywood Hills, packed with a ton of A-listers. Apparently, it was crazy exclusive. That tracks with what I heard too. I think even getting an invite was like winning the lottery. Yeah, exactly. So I figured we could, you know, take a closer look, try to unpack what made this party so legendary. Yeah. And maybe see what it tells us about DiCaprio himself, you know, Where? his whole journey in Hollywood and what it means to be a true icon. What do you think? I'm totally in. Let's break it down. Awesome. So the article kicks off by describing this whole multi-stage event starting with a pre-party dinner at Nobu. Ah, Nobu. That's like the ultimate power move. If you're going to kick off a birthday weekend, might as well start at the top. Right. It's like setting the tone for the whole shebang. Totally. So what happened next? Did they move the party to the estate after that? Yep. That's when things really ramped up. Security was insane. They were slapping stickers over everyone's phone cameras. Like, totally locked down. Wow, no kidding. Sounds intense. I guess when you have that many high-profile people in one place, you got to take precautions. <laughs> For sure. And the guest list was incredible. You had Brad Pitt, Robert De Niro, Tobey Maguire. I mean, these aren't just your average celebrities. No, you're talking about Hollywood royalty right there. That's the kind of names that make headlines just by showing up. Exactly. And it wasn't just those guys. They also had Katy Perry, Orlando Bloom, Dr. Dre, like a whole <laughs> constellation of stars. It's more like a galaxy than a constellation at this point. That's huh. insane. It really does speak to DiCaprio's pull in the industry to be able to bring all these people together. Right. And the article goes on to say that the location itself, San Vicente Bungalows, is notoriously strict about privacy. No phones, no photos, no social media, like absolutely nothing gets out. Interesting. So it wasn't just about keeping things under wraps. It was also about creating this kind of safe space for these people, a place where they could truly let loose without worrying about the outside world. Yeah, I think you're spot on. It's like creating a little bubble of pure Hollywood magic just for that night. So speaking of Hollywood magic, the article made a big deal about Brad Pitt and Industry Ramon. Apparently, they were like the it couple of the night. Oh yeah, I remember seeing photos of them arriving. They definitely looked the part. They did. They even left together in a classic gray Porsche. Like pure Hollywood romance. Classic. Yeah. But beyond the whole glamour thing, it's interesting to think about why DiCaprio attracts these kinds of people. He's been in the spotlight for decades, and he's still tight with all these major players. You're totally right. It says a lot about his character. He's managed to stay at the top of his game for so long, and people still genuinely seem to like and respect him. That's pretty rare in Hollywood. Absolutely. And let's not forget, turning 50 is a pretty big milestone for anyone. But for someone like DiCaprio, whose life has been under the microscope since he was a teenager, it's got to be a whole other thing. That's true. It's like a whole new chapter. Exactly. And what I find really interesting is that even with all the extravagance and the crazy guest list, the article describes DiCaprio as being totally at ease. Like he was comfortable, having fun, and surrounded by loved ones. It sounds like he was really present in the moment. That's a good point. It's easy to get swept up in all the glitz and glamour, but it seems like he was genuinely happy just being with people he cared about. And the fact that his parents were there too, that adds a whole other layer of meaning to the celebration. It reminds you that no matter how famous you are, family is still important. Yeah, for sure. It's a good reminder for all of us, actually. Totally. And you know, when you step back and look at it, this party wasn't just about celebrating a birthday. It was like a testament to DiCaprio's entire career, his legacy in Hollywood. It's almost like a culmination of everything he's achieved. Exactly. And it makes you wonder, what's next for him? Now that he's hit this milestone, what kind of roles will he take on? Will he continue to focus on environmental causes? Or maybe he'll surprise us and go in a totally different direction. Right. I mean, this party wasn't just an ending. It felt like the start of something new. It'll be fascinating to see what he does with this next chapter of his life. Anyway, folks, that's our deep dive into Leonardo DiCaprio's 50th birthday bash. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, what do you think? Did he nail the whole turning 50 thing? Let us know. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll catch you on the next deep dive. See you then.